So welcome to our first Motivational Monday interview with influential leader in Mary Kay. We have today with us Senior Sales Director Blanche Jarvie, and we are so excited to have her with us. Um, Blanche, thank you. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to do this. How has your day been going so far? Fabulous, thank you. Great, that's, that's great. Um, well, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, so what inspired you to become a, a Mary Kay lady? What, what made you make that change? Well, I remember it was back in 1985, which was many years ago, and I had been in with another direct selling company, and a friend of mine in that other direct selling company told me about Mary Kay, and she says, you've got to come here about Mary Kay, and I said, no way, forget it, um, no, no, no. And um, I was just remember praying for something that I could just, God, show me something I can do to make a difference, to be home with my kids, and um, make money, and just be more. And God kept putting Mary Kay in my heart, in my lap, and finally she caught me at a weak moment and said, you've got to get out of the house, you're doing diapers all day. And she was right, diapers and laundry, you don't get recognition for. So I said, okay. So I told my husband I was going to go. So I went to a meeting and I tried the products for the very first time. Love the products. I love the people. They were all happy. They were making money. They were just the atmosphere was just positive and uplifting. So I, I said, give me everything you have to read. I went home and read it. Told my husband I wanted to give it a try. And he said, no way. I said, okay. But my heart kept saying, yeah, I want to try this. I want to be a part of this something bigger than me, and I said, I'm going to try it. He said, okay, go ahead. So I started my business, and I started in New Orleans, back in 1985 in Atlanta area. There were very few directors. Um, the closest meeting was like an hour from me, and my sales director lived in El Paso, Texas. So between all my guides, my 1985 consultants guides, my product, I did everything in my tape to say that, and um, just and started with a few people that I knew. I had, we had just moved here, didn't know anybody. Started with neighbors and wrote the bank and a, um, a son's preschool's friend. And I just built on one success and one fire after another. So, but um, I just never quit. So I, this um, last week on Monday was my 32nd anniversary. Oh my goodness! Congratulations. Thank that you. You know, here is absolutely, that is a long time to commit to anything, but that is just incredible that you've been in Mary Kay for that long. Um, I know people say that, 32 years, I said, yes, yes, and then they say, well, why, you know, but, I, but, I, but I, it's, a, it's been a life journey and a life, a positive life experience. I, we've raised three positive, amazing children through all this. I have one granddaughter. Um, now and I'm going to go see her and I go and get to go see her and hold her. I've been able to be there for my kids when they come home from school. I picked them up in my Mary Kay cars, including my pink cars. Um, they could tell when it was time for a new car because the car would get dirty. They said, Mom, this car is getting gross. Is it time for a new car? I'd say, okay, yes it is. Um, so I just really have raised my kids and I will say that I have three positive Mary Kay kids and a, a beautiful daughter-in-law and a beautiful granddaughter now too. That is so incredible, Blanche. It, that is a really amazing story that you just started out feeling like it was something you needed to do and it took you all the way here. That is incredible. Um, so you would say that flexibility was probably one of the, best, the biggest benefits in joining the Mary Kay community? Yeah. Like flexibility was it and just wanted something bigger than myself. Yes. Flexib flexibility and money were the main things. Definitely. Um, so in, you know, in, in that time, it sounds like you really benefited a lot from this Mary Kay opportunity. Did that inspire you in any way to give back to the community? Are you involved in anything charity-related or anything like that? Well, you know, what? Um, that question, yes, I had to think about that because I, I just love giving, I love people. I love giving back. And one thing that um, it has done, just a positive atmosphere and the, just the encouragement to put God first, Family second, career third. In most of the life we think, okay, who's God and how do we put him first and who is he? And it's really, I've always been a Christian and always, you know, knew I was loved by God. But just the fact that I was encouraged to put that first um, encouraged me to grow spiritually and then help others grow spiritually. And really being an encourager of um, hope and love and, um, and 
and give back more and just share God's word with other people too. But we do work with where the set the um, place the hotel we meet at locally is adjacent to the Cancer Treatment Center of America in Atlanta, and a lot of cancer patients do stay there. And it just this is really a need to 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 give them a gift of Mary Kay products to give them hope. You know, we've done makeovers on them, and they come to the room and they. And I give, give them um, free products we, we've donated. But one thing we want to do is, um, well, another thing I'm doing too, I just started this month, is breast cancer survivors to give them encouragement. Um, I'm having people nominate a breast cancer survivor, and we're going to give her a Mary Kay gift once a month. So other than being involved in charity and, and making sure that you give back and you help people um, and you just make a difference, what other tips do you have for somebody who's a new consultant and is just starting out? Well, number one, to be really clear on what your why is, they say, or your purpose. Um, know your purpose. Know your, what your reason why you're joining your business. Number two, know your values. And, and whatever your values are, they're your values. And embrace those values and be clear on that. And know that we've got an amazing product an unbelievable product. In my 32 years, I've seen a company just never waver on the golden rule philosophy and, and just always developing top-notch products. And oh, our, my customers have always been very responsive to them, new staff. So number one, believe, you know, know your values, know your um, goal and your why, believe in this company, and just go and ask people to share, um, to be, your, be one of your faces to share this product with. And, and they don't like it, they don't have to buy anything, but most of the time, they do. They, they fall in love with it and want it because Mary Kay is a look. That is some great advice. I love that, you know, I love that it's, it's product related. That is great. So when they, um, when they are you know, selling these products and they're working their business, did you have any advice for uh, the ladies out there on how they can manage their business and their family and make sure that there's not too much of either one? We have, you're really inspired by family and we don't want them to and miss out on family events and things like that because they're too consumed by their business. I know, and that's one thing I've always struggled with is because when I was with my family, I thought I should be working my business. And I was with my business, I thought I should have moved with my family. So I'm always traveling, jumping back and forth. So now, now, this is my, now it's my husband and I, and I look back and think, wow, what would I do different? And this is what I tell my consultants. I said, you know, schedule your family time first, okay? Schedule... Schedule the time, and you can be flexible, but schedule the family time to fund things in because before you know it, they're grown and you didn't do fun things, okay? And do that, you know, and I, that's one thing I know that I've always, I had always done. And number two, you know, because you're clear on what your goals are and because you know who you're going to call, schedule your time to work, okay? In the beginning, you're going to be working at first, you know, calling people, scheduling people, um, and then and now once you get that momentum going, you'll be holding appointments in those time frames, okay? But so you have to yeah. build the momentum first. It's like that little old well pump, I like to say. Um, how about yeah. the young people don't stand the well pump, but it would, you pump, they pumped it, they pumped it, and every time they pumped it, the water would come up, and then it would go down. And all of a sudden, then you keep pumping it, it gushes, and you just have to go really gently like this. So, Getting, um, building your business and getting your systems in place, okay? I recommend always putting your customers right away and in touch, um, in touch, Mary Kay in touch, and whenever I have a new yeah. customers, I do that, but I also use the UnitWise program, um, and I have love the support has given me to help me really develop relationships with my customers and keep track of them. I look at it every day and use it and so forth, and I know how to, to know to call them and thank them for their business. Um, for instance, last last month, um, and if there's value in developing those customers, recruiting those customers, you develop pre-orders, future bookings, holiday sales are coming. Um, so one thing that um, I do is I, I always put them in, in touch first and I sync them to my unit wise, and then I notice to send them, I, I make a note to my unit wise when I call them, so I well, don't keep calling them. I can look and say, oh, I called her last week, I don't want to call her again because she'll think, that lady's calling me, but it just just to add value and just to tell, let them know you appreciate it. But you know why is using my program has helped me develop the relationships because last, last month I did have a goal to do 32 faces 
and I worked on it and did that, but I only did 11 faces, okay? But I'm still working on it through the mid-November, so Mary Kelly said, shoot for the moon. If you miss the moon, you'll be along the stars. So we'll keep shooting, but I had did 11 faces. I did have a new team member from that, but then my, my average per face was uh, about $80. So um, now I know, kind of know my average per face. If I want to make $800, I got to do 16 faces. So just kind of the numbers. But I also had um, $1,720 in just reorders from calling my customers. And I will attribute that to UnitWise, knowing what my customers use, going to the reports and looking, seeing it tells me who I have to call, who's going to need some product, and just developing that relationship to call them with. Um, were there any other UnitWise features that you take advantage of? Um, the birthdays. I already I printed off my birthday list last month. Um, it's on my desk here somewhere. I, I, tried, I tried to find some things and didn't find them, but um, birthday list, I can call my birthday customers and say happy birthday to them. You have a 15% discount. It keeps track of my um, keeps track of my birthdays, my anniversaries, and my prospective team members. I'll put them, if I like them, if I like to work with them, I can put their name in there and then pull that out. So I'm always thinking about it. Um, um, I, it keeps track of my sales, which really motivating the main screen has weekly sales, monthly sales, you know, what this week's scales are monthly. So, so I could, it was kind of like back in the day when I started, we had the weekly accomplishment sheet, which I still recommend using for consultants. But one thing you know has on the main screen, so it motivates you. Like my goal is to always hit a thousand a month. Well, if I'm at 800, I'm going to get on the phone and service some customers to hit that thousand dollars a month or go out and do another face. So but that but helps you keep, keep track there. Also, you can keep track of your inventory, which is not my best um, strength. <laughs> but it's I don't a, think it's like about strength. I know. I have, but I did have a new consultant come in and, and sign up for UnitWise because she wants to keep track of her inventory. I said, that's very smart to do. It's not my, not my strength, but, but, I, but I'm going to get better at that. Okay. And then you can use a for managing money, which I want to get on that too, and just keep track of records. Oh, at the end of the year, it's great because I pull up my tax records. I can pull up everything I gave and my gave away used for demo. I have a separate customer, like demo customer, um, yeah. so it, I can put, pull those right on my report all year, and it's done. I don't have to worry about adding it up all year. I know it's taken care of. Well, thank you for, for mentioning all of those. I'm glad that you're making such use of all these features. Um, while, we're, while we're on that, we did want to ask, you know, we're kind of talking about your business and, and all these features, but how do you personally market to new clients? What do you do to go out and get new, new customers to work with? Um, I, some people like to hold booths and so forth. I like yeah. to go out and just meet people face to face. And just I talk to everybody. <laughs> um, I do have a card. Um, I have little gift certificates I made up that I give people for with, if they don't have a consultant. Like yeah. I have a little card. Like for instance, if someone's been very nice to me, I'll say, um, "You've been so sweet. Would would you mind if I gave you my business card?" And they'll say, "No, I don't mind at all." So I give them my card and I give them a gift certificate. And I said, "Would it be okay if I called you?" Sure, it would be. And I call and schedule them. Okay. And sometimes it might take time to get in touch with them or even schedule them. But you have to you keep asking permission to call them back and call them back so that they. They, you can develop that relationship right there with them. And if I see somebody all the time when I'm out and about, I'll just make sure I always ask how you doing and give them another sample and so forth. Um, and through my customers too, through my customers, if they're purchasing product, I can I can ask them if they're happy with my service. Who do they know that would enjoy my service also? I like that. I like that you use those relationships that you already have to go out and get more, but I love the gift card idea too. That is so cool because then that kind of entices them, you know, to want to to want to see what Mary Kay has to offer. I love that. Um, so, you know, when you're when you're going out and doing these sales, it is about the holidays. What sort of techniques do you personally have when you go do your holiday sales and when you when you prepare for that? Well, and you know, also it is the holidays. The selling is finding a need and filling it. And um, I know I use the reports. Um, I took a webinar through through um, 
utilize, um, see the, who, when I purchased, what, who, what, who purchased what, or what was purchased last Christmas, and I, and I yeah. took that and I, I used that report, and then I looked um, and saw what people purchased for gifts last year, I'm thinking, well, they probably don't want to get the same exact thing, so I thought of different things to offer my customers, and I do a yeah. lot of email marketing and send email marketing out, and I just really, I look at um, the products they love and who they'd like to make little gift sets and share it with. Like I made up some things today to do some email marketing with and, and email out. I am going to have an open house this year. I did not have one last year, but, I, but my customers who have been to it tell people she has an open house and it's so nice. I think, okay, I better have one. So I just sent an email out to let, let them know I appreciate them this past year. Because a lot of people have told me that they like to support the local businesses. And just reminding them that when they support you, your local business, then they are um, supporting the local economy and a person, a, a person rather than a big corporation. I love that. I love supporting the, the local economy. I love that angle of it. And I hope that your open house goes well. That sounds very exciting. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, I, offer, I also offer free gift trapping. And that oh, gets there. that's clever. They order now and I deliver the first week in December, already wrapped and ready, so they're ready to go. And I, don't, I keep gift wrapping very simple because I'm not, I'm not, don't like to take a lot of time. I use pretty bags and I buy bows in the Dollar Tree. They have three on a little ring for a for dollar. And they're all about the ribbon and the bows. So that's the best part. But that is that's such a cool idea to go ahead and give it to them wrap because it's something that they don't have to do now. That's, that's a great it's idea. Off their mind, off their mind, and I can serve them, but the money's in my pocket. Exactly. Yeah, you didn't have to. You know, like you said, you keep it simple. So that's a great, great piece of advice. Um, did you have any last pieces to share with the lady? Any any last tips? Just follow it. Letting people building the relate. Focus on um, nourishing your network and building those positive relationships with people. Even if you just to call one day, call them and say. I just want to call and thank you for being a part of my journey and my business. I really appreciate that. And he sent an email saying that. That's all. People like to be appreciated, especially this month, the, you know, thankfulness. And just let people know you appreciate them, no matter what they're doing, no matter if they're your banker, their teller, your waiter, the waitress, chef, the cook, your pastor, your friend, your sister. Affirm people. Well, thank you, Blanche, so much for all of that advice. We, we hope that for the viewers out there, it's really going to help inspire some ladies to reach their full potential, especially around this holiday time. Um, with that, make sure that you tune in next week for our next Motivational Monday interview with an influential leader. And again, Blanche, thank you so much. This has been wonderful. We really appreciate it.